Hi folks, this quick lecture will provide you an overview of restrictive and non-restrictive clauses and their punctuation. Essential or restrictive clauses and phrases give information that is essential in identifying the nouns we modify. And that's why these phrases and clauses are not set off by commas. So let's have a look at this example. The company that made the game is being sued for $10 million. The best way to figure out whether it is essential or non-essential clause is to try to leave out this part of the sentence. So if you say the company is being sued for $10 million, will you still know what company is being sued? No, you won't. That's why this clause is essential for identifying the meaning of the noun it modifies. Non-essential or non-restrictive clauses are set off by commas. While they provide interesting and even relevant material, this information is not essential. So let's have a look at this example. Facebook, which has many users, is a social media platform. Non-essential clause, which has many users, is set off by commas. It starts with which. Let's omit it. Facebook is a social media platform. Do we still understand what Facebook is? Yes. That's why this information is interesting and relevant, but it is not essential for the meaning of the noun modifier. All non-essential clauses that modify things begin with which, and they never begin with that. So, ECMA Computer Corp which invented a pocket-sized computer, made lots of money. The non-essential clause which invented a pocket-sized computer is introduced by which, and it, it is set off by commas. Essential clauses that modify things usually begin with that, and they are not set off by commas. So the company that created a smartphone made a lot of money. The essential clause in this sentence is that created a smartphone. Clauses that modify people will always begin with who or whom, never with that or which. The doctor who helped me works in Charleston. And you can use both who and whom for people in essential and non-essential clauses. Let's have a look at this sentence with an essential clause. Any boxer who can knock out Duke Jones should be considered a contender. Why it is it an essential clause? Well, if we omit this part of the sentence, the sentence will read any boxer should be considered a contender. We are missing out on a big chunk of information. That's why this clause is essential. Now let's have a look at the second example, non-essential clause. Sly Dixon who knocked out Duke Jones should be considered a contender. If you leave out who knocked out Duke Jones, will you still know or will you still understand the meaning of the sentence? Sly Dixon should be considered a contender? Yes, you will. And if you are going to use who or whom, you need to try this trick. First time with place, the who with he, the second time with him. If the sentence sounds correct or makes sense with he, use who. If it sounds correct with him, use whom.